Look at that flag. That is a beauty. Anyway, I bought a safe. It's been a long time coming. Something that I've really, really needed for a very long time. And I finally just bit the bullet. I got a lot of opinions online and I just went with basically a childproof locker. Uh, fire department is five minutes away in two directions. And if somebody comes into the house knowing how to get into a safe, they're going to get into a safe. Maybe. But if I put the safe over here underneath this laugh, you better know who that is under that picture. Then when I'm sitting at my studio right here, which is also a mess and I got a table on the way, then you're going to see the side of it. And eh, that's not pretty. If I put it underneath the picture here, then it's going to be opening from the wall out. And then I'm going to have to open the door all the way. Not something that I want to do. So I cleaned out this spot and I'm going to move my desk, which is a mess over here. And then I'm going to put the safe, on this wall so that when you open the door, it'll open up against the wall. It'll just be better that way. So a lot of things happening here, but first thing we got to do is get the desk from this corner over to that corner and clean everything up. Here we go. So this desk here and the cabinet, I mean, this is Pottery Barn. It's really nice stuff. And I know people have minimalist desks in their studios, but I'm not gonna throw away $1,500 desk, you know, with accessories just for YouTube. Not yet, at least. I haven't made it that big, but this was over here. And I rotated it 90 degrees because the safe is gonna go in that corner. Um, that way the door opens up against this wall where the Nintendo is and it's just going to be perfect that space there is 45 inches the safe is 40 inches wide it's five feet tall so it's going to be up to about there or so and then the depth is 22 inches on this cabinet here and the safe is 20 inches that picture is going to go up above i'm going to move that bench i'm just keeping that there for right now i've got a lot of stuff i've got a desk uh, workbench coming from home depot like this is just a mess right here all this stuff needs to I need to go through a lot of stuff, but that was over here. This was over there. That was over there. Just a lot of stuff. But the main point of moving all this was for the safe and that's going to go right there. So we'll pick it up when the safe is here. The card table is gone. Workbench here. Let's get it together. All right, here we are. Still got some stuff that I need to organize and get rid of, but that's the Home Depot Husky 52 inch workbench. It's adjustable. I've got a couple of mounts, as you can see. I've got this one right here and I've got that one over there. So I got a laptop holder and then the micro, uh, microphone mount. That's gonna stay. I'm probably gonna get rid of this one because I wanna get a better light because I have a fish light up there. Camera and the teleprompter is there. It's a mess. It's going to get better because uh, I want to get this out of here so I can move everything this way. Open up the field of view. Desk is still a mess, but there's the safe. Long time coming. Finally got it. It got here on my birthday. I was out of town, so my wife uh, guided them to put it right there, and then she put all the all the weapons in there, all the pew pews, and uh, yeah, Cabela's a 46 gun flag safe, paid a thousand dollars for it. A couple people had mentioned about putting it over there for the prying factor. I understand that, but um, I just didn't want it over there because then it was going to be in the background sideways or forward, but I like it right here. Uh, that's where it's going to live because it's heavy. It's 508 pounds empty. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. There it is. So got some storage on the door, got slots for six pistols. I don't know what to put in there. So I put some magazines, got two kind of pockets to put stuff in and then like a document pouch down there. Got a bunch of ammo down there. And then all the rifles and shotguns and whatnot that I own that are long that 
go right here. It's really great to be able to store them without having to make them inoperable, which is what I was doing. My collection just kind of grew exponentially for me over the past six months and just being able to store them in their full configuration is great. Um, now, the funny thing was, is that this was delivered on my birthday and I was out of town. So my wife put all the pew pews in here, but I had to tell her all the ones that I had. So my secret's out. She knows exactly what I have right now. So we're gonna have to work on that. But just storing all my stuff, it's really great. This was a long time coming. Really glad that I got it. And um, yeah, let's. Uh, it's time to fill this sucker up. And then we can store stuff on the top. So I got my plate carrier, my belt, a little safe. Got it up, out of the way, off the floor, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Got this picture that my wife got me from the last Patriot Games up and off the floor on the wall where it was supposed to be. And uh, yeah, really like the way that this is all coming together. And uh, that's going to do it for this one. So like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next video.